Clouds of smoke were seen rising into the sky over southern Lebanon on Thursday. It comes a day after Israeli jets struck multiple buildings in Lebanon's southern coastal city of Tyre, sending up large clouds of black smoke, while Hezbollah confirmed that a top official widely expected to be the militant group's next leader had been killed in an Israeli strike. Israel in the past month has launched a major aerial bombardment and ground invasion of Lebanon as it targets Hezbollah, with strikes hitting the capital, Beirut, and elsewhere. In the wake of its ally Hamas' October 7 attack on Israel and Israel's ensuing offensive in Gaza, Hezbollah began firing rockets, drones and missiles at Israel, and they have exchanged fire regularly since. But recent weeks have seen a significant escalation. Israel has since launched a ground invasion in Lebanon that it says aims to push Hezbollah militants back from the border. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel over the past year, including some that have reached the country's populous center. Israel said it invaded Lebanon to try to stop near-daily rocket attacks from Hezbollah. Pope Francis on Wednesday urged faithful to pray for peace in the world. I received the statistics of the deaths in Ukraine. It's terrible. War is unforgiving. War is a defeat from the start, he told the crowds gathered for his weekly audience in St. Peter's Square. He also called on people to pray for all those affected by conflict, including people in Gaza and Israel. Let us all pray for peace together, he said. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian and Russian soldiers have been killed since Moscow launched its full-scale invasion in 2022. Hamas-led militants killed some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducted another 250 when they stormed into southern Israel on October 7, 2023. Around 100 hostages are still inside Gaza, a third of whom are believed to be dead. Israel's offensive has killed over 42,000 Palestinians, according to local health officials, who don't distinguish combatants from civilians but say more than half the dead are women and children.
Fratelli e sorelle, preghiamo per la pace. Oggi, presto al mattino, ho ricevuto le statistiche dei morti in Ucraina. È terribile. La guerra non perdona. La guerra è una sconfitta dall'inizio. Preghiamo il Signore per la pace. Non dimentichiamo la Palestina che sta soffrendo attacchi inumani. Non dimentichiamo Israele. E non dimentichiamo tutte le nazioni che sono in guerra. C'è una cifra, fratelli e sorelle, che deve spaventarci. Gli investimenti che oggi danno più guadagno è nelle fabbriche di armi. Guadagnare con la morte. Preghiamo per la pace tutti insieme.